What's up, Siren fans and scale modelers? Welcome back to another video. It's your host, Ray. Today's video is the last video of this short series of uh, reaction unboxing videos or unpacking videos. Basically, I'll be opening up the Ralph Cliff models as STH 10 Siren Kid in 1 over 87 scale or HO scale. And since I haven't built one of these yet, this will essentially be a re me reacting to what I see in the kit, basically analyzing the parts and determining how the build will go. And once I'm done building this kit and the other kits that I also ordered, if you want to see videos of those, feel free to look uh, look at those on my channel. Um, then I'll explain how the build process went and everything else. Uh, without further ado, let's begin. Uh, of course, this arrives in the standard plastic baggie that most of the siren kits arrive in. Um, Based on my past experience, these things are really high quality, so I have rather high expectations for these. If the bag would open, that is. Oh, jeez. So, first, let's talk about the instructions. Uh, the instructions uh, paper looks cool. Here's a uh, quick commentary. This is kind of different because the uh, back cover usually has a picture of the siren or something, so uh, interesting. Okay, this looks cool. This looks like something out of Legos. <laughs> Basically, this is a 3D model of how to assemble the siren. It's really simple from the looks of it, so that's going to be fun to build. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I want to mount this one. I might mount it next to or on a steel truss, um, like a antenna tower or something. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, looks pretty simple. Should be easy for me. Uh, but let's go over, let's uh, open up the parts. And while there's almost no parts in here, I am not surprised, not gonna lie. This is just a really simple omnidirectional siren, so there's really nothing too complex about it. Which I appreciate. It's I'd honestly recommend this, now that I think of it, as a starter kit for getting into H of Scale Sirens. So if you want to start getting into H of Scale Sirens, I recommend getting this kit, from the looks of it. And here are all the parts. So here's the horn assembly. There's a lot of flash on this on this part, so uh, that's going to be a little tricky to remove. Or one of the pieces fell off, so it looks pretty weak. Uh, that's going to be rather easy to remove. I'm not sure. Should be a medium to difficult task because this part is still pretty small. Uh, the mounting truss assembly looks like a nightmare as per usual, but it's actually not. Uh, it's just a flash. There's a lot of flash on it, which I'll have to remove later. You can see that it's really flimsy. I could probably knock some out right now, and um, it'll fall. And Yeah, it should be pretty easy to remove and attach to the rest of the siren. And, of course, the motor, it's got a little... Okay, that is cool. It's got a little junction box here, so conduit can go into it. So that's going to be very helpful, helpful for when I wire it up. It's got an eye bolt for mounting and uh, just a little bit of flash here that I'll have. This flash actually looks a little bit stronger, so that's interesting. And of course, the standard control box featured in all, in most, or if not all, Ralph Cliff Siren kits. As short as this video was, I think this is even shorter than my last video, um, it's over. This looks like a really fun and simple kit to build, and judging by the quality of these models, as the high quality of these models, I should say, and the simplicity of this one, I'd say this is probably a really good place to start in terms of siren building if you're really not into building any other scale models and you are um, you haven't had any scale modeling experience. I'd recommend buying this kit first because it, it, it gives you a, a taste of uh, the more complex kits like the Thunderbolt Siren Kit. That's probably the most complex one out there. Um, so this should give you a prerequisite to the, like, or not a prerequisite, but a preview to the skills you're going to need to master to build, uh, other more complex kits. Uh, but that's basically it. I think this is going to be fun to build, and I can't wait to show you guys when it's done. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Siren videos and airplane videos. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to build this, but it's going to be in a while, so you're going to have to wait a pretty long time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.